There you are, Admiral. And a beautiful job, though I said it myself, I shouldn't. What one measly little heart? I want some roses and bluebirds and Brenda, I love ya, in purple across the middle. Colours is extra. Do what? Colours is extra. Extra? You don't look out, I'll give you something extra. Now, come on, Grandpa. I haven't got all night. I don't know. Trying to take advantage of an innocent seaman like that. Trouble with you civilians. All you ever think of. Anyway, where am I supposed to find some extra? Well, you could always let me have a check, Chief. A check? You must be joking. I haven't got a bank. <laughs> well, you should have. Go to Barclays. It'll save you a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's not how you spell, Brenda. Oh, hello, Amy. You don't have not fed up. I am fed up. It's still... She's got herself engaged. <laughs> You're wrong. Still, <laughs> the Captain, the Honourable Frederick, fits lightly. There'll be 22 bridesmaids and an archway of souls. Oh, then, wherever did she meet him? On holiday. Never let on know. Well, I mean, Sylve may be my best friend, but she's not silly. I thought you went on holiday together. Well, we did. Only Sylve went on past and stayed at the Hotel Splondy. Oh, she never. And I was at the Pension Chalimar, which is just as nice, really. Except, of course, for not having the Honourable Fred. Oh, fancy being engaged to an Honourable. Lucky old Sylve. Yeah, it's all right if you got the money. Lucky thing. I don't know how she does it. Well, I saved this up in my Barclays Bank savings account. Mum always said the girl's best friend is her Barclays. Henry Philpott was a little man. Everything about him was rather on the small side. When he had a night out with the boys, the small bitter was all he fancied. His holiday was a day trip to <laughs> Little Hampton. In fact, the only big city in Henry's life was Edith. But Edith had no time for little men. Marry you, Henry Philpott. Edith says I need my head examined. Mr. Philpott, you are suffering from an inferiority complex. You must start to think big. Associate yourself with big things. Big people. Big business. Big bank. Yes, Barclay. The biggest British bank in the world. They get that way by looking after little people like And so it was that Henry Philpott changed his life. He not only associated with big things, big things began to associate with him, like Edith, who cried, I need to